Hey YouTube, so uh, Assassin's Creed 3 was just released yesterday for the PC and I myself have been experiencing big time frame rate issues, especially in Boston it will go from 60 frames down to anywhere from 25 to 11 frames and that's just really irritating and not normal. I have a pretty decent graphics card, it can run games better than consoles can so it shouldn't be running this game that low of a frame rate. So. I decided to run Assassin's Creed Revelations and see if maybe my graphics card was all screwed up, and it wasn't. Assassin's Creed Revelations ran at around 55 frames per second in the city in a populated area, so I realized there was something wrong with the game itself. Uh, and what really made me mad is I had to wait 20 extra days for the PC version of this game, and is an extremely large amount of bugs and then this frame rate issue. I decided to do some research and I found a forum with a link to an updated beta driver and I tested it out, I installed it and it boosted my average frame rate in Boston from 25 frames to around 50. So I'm gonna provide the link to this beta driver update right here. And for some reason it's a Russian link, but just ignore that. So you're going to want to download the appropriate drivers specified by your graphics card. Mine's a GeForce, uh, and it's a 550M series for my notebook, because mine's a Asus laptop. And you want to find the family, the exact, exact driver, which is the 550M for me. And then make sure you have the correct operating system, English for me, and... It all and you click this I, I'm pretty sure it's like okay or uh, download I don't know Russian go ahead and go to it and then it updates you with all the latest drivers and obviously you want to get the latest version and then you're gonna click download and then agree so it's gonna go down here and download your driver and you're gonna go ahead and wait for it to download and then install it and you shouldn't have to restart your computer after it's installed and maybe some people might have to depending on how outdated their drivers are but I did not so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that since I already downloaded it but once it's installed you should be able to just boot up Assassin's Creed 3 and notice the difference so I want to thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any other questions go ahead and put them down in uh, comment section and please uh, like my video don't dislike it and uh, yeah have a good day